and hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial so in this tutorial we'll be talking about loops so loops is a way to repeat code so it continuously happens so it continuously runs until you tell it to stop in Lua there are three common loops we can use the most common would probably be the for loop and this is basically for a number until a number run the code so for i and this is just declaring a variable in this scope if for i becomes one so we're starting at one up until 10 so we're going up until the number 10 and then we can just say then or not then but do and here we can say print i. This will count from 1 to 10 and print it out. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. From 1 to 10. It will just loop and loop and loop and change this i variable here. You can say how many steps it should take. For example, 1 is by default. So it takes 1 step. 1, 2, 3, up until 10. You can say two, and now we'll take two steps. There we go. You can even make it go into the negative value, so negative two. But this here would cause an infinite loop, so we'll have to go 10 to 1. So it's going to flip the two, so it's i is going to start at 10 until it reaches 1 or less, and then it will stop. Now, as you can see, it goes downwards because we said minus two cool so that's a basic for loop you also have a while loop so while something is true we want to do something else this here is called an infinite loop since true here never becomes false so if i say print mike it will forever print out the word mike until i quit the program with control c so this will infinitely loop until either the program crashes or your PC does. You can use break to break out of a loop. So loop, it only goes once. Here we could do something like local count is equal to zero. And then if the count count is more than 10, then we can break. And of course here at the top, we can say count is equal to itself, count plus one. Cool. So now we will break out of the loop without having to make this here false. So now we can say that, and I will print out mic 10 times. Cool. You could also do this, put that there. While count, and instead of more than 10, we can say less than 10. So while count is less than the number 10, run this loop. Now if we run it, until count is at least 10, it will run this code. All right, and then last but not least is the repeat loop. So one thing I want to show you is, let's say count is equal to 10. If we do this, the while loop will never run because this here is never true. The repeat loops runs at least once. It's a while loop, but it runs at least once. So repeat until, and we can just take this right here, put it here, and then take this and put it here. It's the same as a while loop, but it will run at least once. In other languages, this would be called a do while. And my bad, it goes up until, so we should say, up until count is more than 10. Or in this case, let's say five, just to show you. So until this is true. So it will repeat this until this is true. So unlike with a while loop, it will not be while true, this will be while false. If we run it, we'll get mic at least once. So it will run at least once before it quits. And that is that 
for loops. They're very basic but very powerful. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all again in the next video.